One drawback of spherical mirrors is that rays far from the principal axis are not reflected through the focal point. So if we have here a spherical mirror, the center of curvature and the focal point are shown. We can see that rays that are fairly close to the principal axis are reflected through the focal point right there. But as the rays get further and further from the principal axis, we find that they are not reflected through the focal point. This gives us a blurred image, and we call that phenomenon spherical aberration. Any spherical mirror is going to be a small mirror. You'll never see a really large mirror that's spherical because of spherical aberration. We fix this using a parabolic mirror, which has a cross-section that's parabolic in shape. Parabolic mirrors also have a focal point, but they have the distinct advantage that no matter where the rays are with regard to the principal axis, they all are reflected through the focal point. If a mirror is spherical, it is small. Any large mirror is parabolic. So here are some examples of parabolic mirrors. If we have a parabolic mirror with rays incoming, those rays can be reflected to converge right at the focal point. If we have, for example, a very dilute radio signal, we could use a parabolic mirror to concentrate or intensify that signal by reflecting all of those at a particular point kind of like this radio telescope is designed. Or a satellite dish, the same sort of idea, with a sensor out here, and this dish essentially amplifies the signal by reflecting waves such that they all coincide at that point. You could also use a parabolic mirror in this sense. Instead of having the receiver at the location of the focal point, you could have the light source at the focal point. And that's what a lot of headlights do and a lot of flashlights. They put the lamp at the focal point. Some of the light, of course, travels from the lamp out. But any light that travels to the right here, when that light comes back out, it's going to come out in a nice parallel beam. So parabolic mirrors are very useful in many ways for not only receiving light, but also for sending light out in a parallel fashion. Although the math is comparatively simple for spherical mirrors, such mirrors have limits with regard to size. For large spherical mirrors, light rays far from the principal axis fail to converge at the focal point, resulting in spherical aberration. Parabolic mirrors resolve this problem. Parallel rays can be made to converge precisely at the focal point, or a light source can be placed at the focal point and reflected into a focused beam. All reflector telescopes employ very large parabolic mirrors.